from South Florida. I'm Ed Cohen with the former Chicago Bulls guard Jay Williams. And Jay, it's Miami-Dade County. It's the land of D-Wade. It's a place unlike any other. No doubt about it, Ed. Every time you see the flash play, it reminds you of greatness. No doubt he's going to show that tonight on the court. Won by Atlanta. Jay, I'm going to say that you don't know this, but since 1980, the Hawks have drafted only four players to have appeared in the All-Star game. Doc Rivers, Kevin Willis, Al Horford, and Jeff T. Well, how about a guy named Dominique Wilkins? I'm sorry. Oh, well, interesting that you'd ask. Dominique Wilkins was actually selected by the Utah Jazz. It's the Heat with the possession. Takes stock of the floor to Butler. Five to shoot for Miami. Trying to cash in. Here's the step back. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Trey Young to Allen Crabb. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. And for the money Crabb got, he better be a professional scorer. Getting it done the hard way. Dragic with the basketball. Down two. To Wade. Dragic. They'll get it down to Leonard. Clint Capella swats it. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Trey Young to Capella. Goran Dragic sends it away. That's out. Last touch by Goran Dragic. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Heat get control. Ah, oh, you've got to get that one to go. And a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Free throw good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. Trogic into the front court. Looking to make something happen. And too much contact. He took a chance. That's the right call. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. That's the first foul in the last two minutes. Pick, pick. Dragic. Perfect feed to set up the basket. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Number seven, Goran Dragic. Trey Young. Nothing going here on that drive to Trey Young. One minute left in the first quarter. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player, knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Free throw good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. Dragic with it. Just under a minute to play here in this opening quarter. Down low for Leonard. And count the basket. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Hawks with the basketball. with body control on the Euro step. Not a Ferrari, definitely not a Lambo, but hey, gets you from point A to point B. Dragic with the basketball. 12 to six, our score. Has a chance with the fadeaway. Burns him for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. From long range. 
Out of bio, the rebound. Frogic into the front court. They're scored 12 to 8. Goran Dragic, two for two. That's what you want. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Curling inside. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Late heave to beat the buzzer. That ends the first quarter. The Hawks with the lead. One quarter in the books. And Jay, naturally, both coaches wanted to get more stops. But boy, was that fun to watch. You know why? Why? Because of the versatility. Because this is positionless basketball, which makes it beautiful to watch. Everybody can triple threat, dribble, drive, shoot the three, do things from long distance. It's a thing of beauty where this game is going. Here's a chance from long range. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Oh, the Heat right there to take it away. Jay, sometimes it's not just the Heat that does opponents in in Miami. I've been a victim to this multiple times when we have played the Heat, and I think other franchises from cold cities have been the same. There's a reason why the Miami Heat have such an advantage down here on South Beach. You catch them on an off night, it's rare that teams, opposing teams, are ready to play. Here comes the screen. Has a look. Wide open look, won't go. After a miss like that, you at least have to rub your hands on your shorts. At least make it seem like the ball slipped. Frogic with it. Leads one. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. Goran Dragic at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 76% from the line. Defended, shot no good. If it was anyone else, they'd be back on the bench for taking that shot. Nothing going here on that drive to Dragic. Butler. Rebound claimed by the Hawks. Trey Young to Capella. And look out. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. You let him be that anomaly. Alan Crabb with the block. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Trey Young to Alan Crabb. Trying to cash in. Gets a shot up. Off the mark. Dragic with the basketball. Counting down toward a minute to go in this first half. One minute remaining in the second quarter. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Free throw, good. A three-point play as they move in front here just before the break. Here's Atlanta. To Parker. Myers Leonard with a piece. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. Butler to Dragic. Goran Dragic. Terrific shooting. He's four for five. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Trey Young to Parker. To Alan Crabb. 
for three. Trey Young bothered just enough there. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Deep three at the buzzer. That misses with a second to go. The quarter comes to an end. The Heat with the lead. Fellas. All set to. Go here in the second half. The third quarter is underway. He'd have the basketball. Dragic to Wade. Dragic to Wade. Has a chance. Shot misses for Wade. A drive through the paint, but a shot misses. To Dragic. Goran Dragic. He's now five for six. Mm. I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. To Alan Crabb. Layup goes down. Well done. No doubt about where that one was headed. Dragic into the front court. His team up by seven. Wade guarded by Clint Capella. Slam dunk. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. go down. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Nothing going here on that drive. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he wanted. Dragic with it. Lead stance at seven. Quinn Capella snatching it out of the air. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Here's Atlanta with the basketball. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Free throw is good to finish off the three-point play. That slices the lead down to four. Baller into the front court. He'll run the offense. Winslow matched up with Capella. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. And the basket good at the rim. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Dragic with the basketball. Leads four. To Butler. Has a look. Jimmy Butler, four out of seven. We talk so much about who are the MVP candidates, but there are other guys who are so valuable to their teams, and Jimmy Butler at the forefront of that list. I have a phrase that I use when I describe players like Jimmy Butler. It's called most valuable mentality. There are certain players that approach the game with a certain mindset every single day that they will do anything, anything possible to win the ball game. He plays with his heart and soul every single possession and every night, and he will leave it on the court if that means he can win the ball game. Dragic against Clint Capella. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. That won't go. From the painted area, won't go down. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. Deep two there, won't go. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer. The quarter comes to an end with the Heat in front. Hawks with the basket. 
basketball to start this fourth quarter. They trail to this point, but you'd have to say this one's up for grabs. And the new style we play with in this league, all it takes is three quick threes, and you're right back in the ball game. Short jumper misses. And they call the foul. Jay Hughes there too late. Yes, I love this move. Send him to the line. Chances are probably good he doesn't make both. And you also stop the clock while getting another possession. James Johnson, a couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 69% at the line. First one goes down. Can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair. to Parker here comes the screen nothing going here on that drive he shoots oh, off the mark Clint Capella not a busy night but effective two for two uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul but take it when you can get it and he's going to the free throw line. This drives me nuts when I see fouls like that being called in a close game. Sometimes you just got to let them play, ref. Jimmy Butler at the line for two shots. Hasn't missed yet. Off the mark on the first free throw. This is the second as well. To Parker. Capella down low. Clint Capella. Very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. No excuse to not be a little bit more physical there on the defensive end. Needed that stop. Shot from the lane won't go. It's Atlanta ball. Trey Young. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. Because in certain players' mind, it doesn't matter if they're amongst the trees or not. They're always going to be the giant in the paint. Trogic into the front court. Leads just a point. Down to five. Down to four to shoot. Not that time. Trey Young to Parker. Trey Young to Parker. Beyond the arc for three, Jabari Parker, the Chicago kid, with the three. Now the Heat, going to use a timeout. That's their first. Leaves them with one remaining the rest of the way. Changes coming from both sides right now. Dwayne Wade. To Dragic. Butler to Dragic. Shot clock for the Heat, down to three. Fires the three, not that time. Trey Young to Capella. Won't go. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. Butler. To Dragic. Butler. Dragic. 
smothering D. Here comes the intentional foul, but they did have one to give, so no free throws yet. They'll shoot after the next foul. Some players are built to handle these moments. On one end, you just sparked your team, and at the same time, you also got under your opponent's skin. Just want to manage through the emotions here and not take it too far. Misses the first. Missed the second one as well. Drogic with it. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. Cash is in for two. Look at that. Calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys rush those. Nice extra move there. Now the Hawks coach going to call a timeout as they dig into their bag of tricks trying to draw up the game winner. Straight on three at the buzzer. That does it for the quarter. No separation so far. It's all even. And we're underway here in the extra period. And a chance coming up at the line. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw. And he connects on the first free throw. Goes two for two. It's the Hawks with the basketball. Trey Young to Parker. Down low, Capella. Surveys the floor. And a five second back to the basket violation is called. Wade to Dragic. Butler matched up with Capella. Dwayne Wade to Butler. Let's it fly from long range. Rebounds taken in by Atlanta. Parker head of the front court. They trail by two. Gets a look. Can hit. Off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're going to lower the chances of them making that shot. Dwayne Wade rocking the rim. And cutting hard in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. Green coming. Short jumper off the mark. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning an ankle on that landing. And this will be out of bounds off of Butler. Substitution being made in this one. Alan Crabb. Here comes the screen. Alan Crabb sizing up Leonard. The Hawks with four to shoot. Going to launch beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Heat. Miami with the basketball. Dragic defended by Turner. Big finish at the rim. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Trey Young. Right 
Five to shoot. Trey Young. For three. And it's Leonard there to clear the rebound. Butler to bring it up. Up by six. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Evan Turner matched up with Jimmy Butler. Trying to cash in, it goes down. He improvises and scores. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Whistle blows, intentional foul. And here's the foul. Right now it's a two possession game. So if he hits one or two of these, it could be all she wrote. Goran Dragic, he's got two shots coming. He's perfect from the line so far. And hits the first free throw. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, the Heat with the victory as they win it in overtime. Forge.